<laughs> so I just like to uh, welcome one of our uh, amazing and inspirational clients, Susan, to tell her story today. Um, just a bit of a background on her. I mean, she's a, a cancer survivor and now she's got incredible results and uh, she's thriving once again. But I just think her story needs to be told because, as I said, you're going to motivate and inspire a lot of women and, and men like myself. So before we start, Susan, if you don't mind, can you tell the group and the followers who you are, where are you from, and what do you do? So my name is Susan Van Ness. I live in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, I am a. I have two jobs actually. I am uh, my. I'm a chemical engineer, and I also have a photography business. Um, and to Davy's point, yes, I I am a breast cancer survivor. I have a, or had triple positive breast cancer, um, and and still have treatments monthly. Okay, so your background, your are you 42 years of age, I believe, or am I wrong? I do, yes. Sometimes so I forget. Lot, and you've a lot, uh, you've, you, I think you've two kids, or how many kids have you got, if you don't mind? I have three kids. Uh, I have a seven-year-old daughter, four-year-old son, and a nine-month-old daughter. Oh, wow, so you're seven, the oldest is seven. So what? if you re rewind the clock, if you don't mind sharing, I mean, when were you diagnosed or when... Were you put into menopause, et cetera? So I was diagnosed um, in January of 2021, right before uh, my son turned one years old. Um, and, you know, did all the things. I did chemo, radiation, of course, surgery. Um, I cold cap. That's how I have my hair still. Um, and uh, was placed into chemical or medicinal menopause in March of that year. And still um, will be in medicinal menopause for upwards of 20 years before I hit natural menopause. My my family tends to hit menopause in their 60s. So I'll be on medications until my 60s, probably. I was 38 at that. 38 when you were diagnosed. And was, did it run in a family? Your mom, your aunties, sister, no, or my family to ever be diagnosed with cancer. Um, so it was very shocking. <laughs> I led a very healthy lifestyle as well. Uh, you know, ran five miles a day, ate very, very healthy. Uh, so when it, when it happened and I was nursing, which is of course supposed to decrease your chances of having breast cancer. Um, it was very, very shocking to my family. And I had a very aggressive rare type of breast cancer. Um, and again, you know, people think, okay, you finish chemo and you're done, but you're really not. The hormonal medications in some ways are even more difficult than the traditional chemo and radiation because of the huge changes that it makes to your body. Yeah, you're referring to the serum tamoxifen is one of the drugs. I'm, I also have monthly stomach injections of Zolodex. Okay, so... There's quite a shift in your body composition. I'd imagine when your your all your hormones, specifically estrogen, was kind of downregulated. And did you notice yes. much of it? What was the shift in your overall mood, energy, physique? Was was it a huge change? Because you were you were healthy. You said you were a runner. It was a huge change. Um, <laughs> it. And the shift was pretty quick, I would say, you know, it wasn't, it didn't take like a year to happen. It, it happened, the weight gain happened pretty rapidly. Um, probably over the course of six months, I gained about 15 pounds. I ended up being about 20 pounds heavier than my normal adult weight that I had been all of my adult life, um, even after having children. And I, no matter what I did, I could not get the weight off. Of course, I, my energy was down. Um, the medication, the hormonal shift um, caused my blood pressure to go up very high. So I'm on three blood pressure medications. It causes me to have heart hep palpitations. So it, it, it was a, a very, very big change. I felt a lot more tired. Um, it dries everything out in your entire body. Like, 
eyes, I, everything. <laughs> um, so it's not, a, they're not pleasant medications to be on. It causes a lot of bone pain. And I, as an avid runner, a lot of foot pain it caused for me. Um, so it, it was like this for about two years. And I spoke to, I see my oncologist very regularly every three months. Um, I see my surgical oncologist every six months. So I see oncologists almost every month still. And all of them told me that the weight gain is normal. It's what's going to happen. And there's no way I would lose weight. I mean, that was, <laughs> they, they, even the nutritionist said on these medications, you will not lose weight. And I didn't like that answer. <laughs> mm. I'm a very stubborn person. <laughs> so Gosh. Well, you were going through so many side effects. It, it really, it, it dried out your body, your aches and pains, the joints, fatigue, yeah. brain fog, I'd imagine. Yes, blood pressure. It took away, it took away my, 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 my daughter that I have now was born via surrogacy. I did harvest my, um, my eggs and have embryos formed before treatment. But on top of all of the physical changes, the mental aspect, knowing that it also took away my fertility was very difficult as well. Mm. Gosh, that's an ordeal. But I mean, you have to give yourself massive credit and praise. Look at you now. But, um, <laughs> The, the impact they must have had on on your husband and family members who said, said they were a huge shock. But yeah, what what was the turning point? How did you kind of? I know you went to see a lot of specialists. You were obviously seeing oncologists, which is obviously great. But did you see any one refer in reference to nutrition or I training did. the hormone support? I saw a nutritionist. Not that she was um, specific in hormonal imbalances. Um, but I did see her, I still didn't see a change, um, in my physique. I didn't lose any weight. I, you know, I followed what she was saying. I was already eating healthy, so it wasn't a huge shift anyway, but, um, I didn't see any changes yet again. And it was just, it was frustrating, you know, and she, even she was like, you know, with zero estrogen in your body, zero progesterone, zero testosterone, I basically have no, no hormones you know, it's going to be nearly impossible to lose weight. And um, mm. then I saw your video, you know, I, I was following you and I was seeing your videos and I felt very confident that you would be able to help me um, because you really seemed like an expert in hormonal issues. I knew my case was a little bit unique, um, but, you know, one in eight women have breast cancer and 75% of those women have a hormonal breast cancer. Um, mm. So there's a lot of women in the same, same boat as me, you know, that feel very lost and um, mm. started seeing the scale move first time in two years. It was amazing. I mean, literally like <laughs> celebrating. <laughs> so you were like when, before you were diagnosed, you were very healthy. What, what was your weight? I know you weren't you weren't overweight. One one twenty 120, was it one fifteen? Maybe. I yeah, but I was between one seventeen and one twenty three. Okay, and then you gained twenty pounds. You said I was one hundred eight point eight pounds when I started the program. Okay, and four months later, can you share what what's the, your inches down or pounds lost? I am. Um, uh, as of today, I'm at 130.6. Very excited for that scale to get under 130, which I know will happen soon. Um, so I've lost, um, you know, a little over 13 pounds. Um, I've lost on my waist uh, a little over three inches Whoa. and my hip. Um, so a big shift in my in my body. Yeah, getting me down to measurements that were more typical of before treatment. Um, I saw my oncologist, you know, I see her every three months. I saw her, um, in April and she walked in the room. She didn't know I, she did not know I was doing this program because the last time I saw her was December before I started the program. And she walked in the room and was like, oh my gosh, you've lost a lot of weight. You know, you, you look, you look fabulous. What have you been doing? You know, Great. and, um, to hear that from somebody that hadn't seen me in a couple of months, um, uh, was really reassuring as well. <laughs> That's incredible news. Great work. You should be very proud of yourself. So what did Ashley do 
or and Justin or the team? What specifically? Let's break it down. Like nutrition, obviously. What do we do to? What was different? So nutrition, um, I cut out all gluten and dairy, um, he, which were human huge inflammatory factors in my body. Um, when I was nursing my son, I had actually cut those out as well because he's allergic to them. Um, and then during treatment, I added them back in uh, because one of the medications had dairy components, actually. So um, I I went back having dairy and gluten. Um, so I cut those out and was very have been very, very strict. Um, I had one cheat day on my birthday and that was it. And then I felt horrible. And <laughs> I was like, yeah, nope. So it wasn't even really worth it for my birthday. <laughs> just but, just um, one cheat day, really. I had That's one. Cheat so day. consistent. God, you're very yeah. dedicated. Yeah, one cheat day. I am. I mean, I'm a stickler. Like if I go to a restaurant, I make sure the waiter is like, you know, is the chicken. It's not cooked near any of the other stuff. I'm not going to go to a restaurant if there's a fryer that's being used where it's mixed. Um, I am very, very dedicated to the gluten and dairy free diet because, you know, it's very quickly after I made the change, um, I felt much better. Um, Are you in a calorie deficit all the time or diet breaks or reverse dieting or? Did it, did it go um, up and down or calorie cycling or anything? No, I didn't do a lot of dieting. I just tried to eat healthy, basically. You know, I think the other main change in my lifestyle was that I was an avid runner. I ran five miles a day every day. I would maybe take one day off a week. Um, and mm -hmm. I stopped running, which I was worried was going to be detrimental, right? It was It was a mental thing. Like, I'm eating healthy and I'm burning calories from running five miles a day. Um, and so you completely stopped really, uh, we didn't, I didn't completely stop. I run two days a week. Uh, so we Up made back, kind yeah. of a compromise. So yeah. I, I only Sundays and Thursdays, the rest of the day, I walk my, uh, five miles or, you know, about 10, 10,000 or over steps. Um, I walk that now. And that really also made a big change. Uh, I was much more, I feel much more relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah it's, a, you're, it's less stress in your body your adrenals i'm sure yes so, it really it like I, I love i almost don't even want to run anymore which i never thought i would say um but i love the walking so much it's just such a time of it's peaceful it's like i actually feel like yeah. i'm more energized today i'm not as exhausted <laughs> it's therapeutic yes yeah, it's, it's peaceful as yeah. you said yeah. I mean, it's a great stress reliever. It's not high impact. Yeah. Did yeah. you do any kind of uh, yoga or journaling or, or strength training? Yes. I'm a, um, Ashley can attest to this. I'm very stubborn when it comes to maintaining that, the workout regimen. Um, I really do. I really love working out. So I do um, the workout she gave three days a week. And then I do the yoga two days a week. It's a great shift. Okay. And what about uh, you were a premium client, so you done the blood work and the yeah. uh, GI map. Was there any, any GI issues, inflammation? I think your A1C was high, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. And usually, to be honest, during, in my blood work, my C-reactive protein wasn't crazy high. But in the past, that number has been upwards of 20. I mean, crazy high. Mm -hmm. The react yeah. um, and as soon as it, this happened with when I went on this diet previously with my son, as soon as I cut out gluten and dairy, my C reactive protein goes down into the normal range. Um, Interesting. All about yeah. have you your blood pressure? You said it was high. Have you do my, you take that regularly now? Or? My blood pressure. I'm still on the three blood pressure medications uh, per the cardiologist, but my blood pressure. I have a feeling he's going to take me off of some of them because my blood pressure has been consistently amazing um, ever since being on this program. That's that's a huge win. Gosh, that's yeah. priceless. Yeah. And um, just in terms of the community, or did you, I know you're busy. Did you, you're in the Facebook group some, sometimes. What's your thoughts on the app, the Facebook group? The, the face, I, the face. 
great, great for motivation. Right. And I love the contests. I'm a really competitive person. So like <laughs> when you give a contest, I'm like, I want to mm. win. <laughs> um, love that piece about it. Cause it was a little extra fun, you know, to do. And I love the community, people going through similar struggles and challenges and um, that understand the challenges of menopause. I understand mine wasn't, I wasn't naturally, I'm not naturally in it, but mm. you know, being thrown into it. Um, I have those same challenges. So um, it was just a helpful place to get motivation. And then the app, I, the app is wonderful. I mean, I use the app every day. So <laughs> fantastic. It's great. Have you any message for anyone that's sitting on the fence that uh, maybe has some health issues and stubborn that to lose and they don't know where to go? Or There's a lot of mistrust and uh, scams out there. You know, people are, and rightly so, it's saturated, I think, the online space right now. People are very skeptical. Have you any yeah. message for those type of people that are possibly thinking about joining a program like this? Uh, I would say, I will reiterate, I was told by every single doctor that I would not lose a single pound, that I would not lose weight, no matter what I did, even if I starved myself. Those were exact words from my doctors. And I have seen the scale get to levels I have not seen in over two years. Um, and if I can be a living testament to how this program works, it works. I mean, I, I know what to eat. I know what to do for my exercises. I know how to maintain. I know how to continue to see the scale go down. Um, this is a, an amazing program. The coaches are wonderful. Um, the workouts are wonderful. The recipes are great. I mean, you, it really, I felt so lost. And then coming into this program, um, I really found myself again and had the guidance that I needed to finally be able to make that shift in my body. That's incredible. Well, we're so happy to have played a part in your health journey and your recovery. And um, thanks for taking the time. I know you're busy, three kids, et cetera. <laughs>